Today we're going to talk about the basics of getting started in a 2021 franchise mode save in Out of the Park Go. To begin, we're going to select franchise mode. You'll see that you have all of these options here uh, for a standard game, for a historical game, for a custom game. You have options to purchase uh, seasons, but we just want to do a 2021 save. So if you haven't already, you do need to go to purchase seasons to buy the 2021 MLB and minor league season. So once you've done that uh, through your uh, in-app purchases, you can go to new standard game, which will allow you to play with the real 2021 teams. So this will take you to the league creation wizard, which has four steps to it. You can select the leagues that you want here in your save. So you can have Major League Baseball and the KBO. You can select both, you can select neither, but we're just gonna do MLB for right now. The next step is scouting and player rankings. Here you can select the scale that you want to view the actual and potential ratings. By default, it's 20 to 80, but you can see there's other options here. We're gonna leave it at 20 to 80 for this. The next is your game settings. So here is where you can rename your uh your game so we're going to rename it to mlb 2021 and you can enter your starting year uh so we have 2021 here you also have the option to hold an inaugural fantasy draft uh where it will take all of the players and put them in a fantasy draft then you can also create your manager profile so you can input your name which will show up in the game as well as your nationality and your date of birth you also can select cannot be fired if you don't want to have to deal with the owner potentially firing you. The final step in the League Creation Wizard is to select a team. So here you have two tabs, American League and National League, to select the team that you want to play as. If you want to play as a minor league team or a team from the KBO, you just need to select this league drop-down menu to find the appropriate league to select the team. If you don't select a team, you'll be unemployed and you will receive job offers from other teams through your in-game mail. So we're just gonna select a team here and we're gonna finish. So here we are in the game after we finished the league creation wizard. However, we still want to check on some settings to make sure that we have the game set up the way we want. So what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the MLB tab and select league rules and settings. These are your game options. So you can see that we have different tabs at the top. We have global, league, rules, financials, options, players, and strategy. In this first tab, global, we can see that we have the rating scale. So if you decide that you don't like the rating scale that you picked in the league creation wizard, you can change it. You can change the injury frequency and enable and disable injuries. You can enable um, player morale and team chemistry. You can alter the trading difficulty with the different sliders, as well as uh, trading preference. And the, importantly here, you have your autosave options. The game defaults to once a year. However, to prevent crashes, you probably want to save more often than that. So I'm going to select once a month. You also have the option to save box scores from different teams or none at all. You also can have generate game recaps and save game logs. The next tab is the league. Uh, you can change the league level. So for example, if you wanted to make Major League Baseball the level of Triple A, you can do that here. You can change the league nation and you can assign parent leagues. The third tab is rules. This is where you would enable or disable the DH. You can change the roster side. You can allow incomplete minor league rosters. And here is where you can enable and disable trading and the draft, as well as select the deadline and the amateur draft. The fourth tab is the financials, which is where you can set attendance baseline, ticket baseline, as well as uh, the salaries and team expenses, or you can disable the financial system entirely. The next tab is options, which will allow you to edit the league schedule. It'll allow you to select the season start date, as well as spring training, the all-star game, and the playoffs. So you can customize your playoffs the way you want, and you can choose to not have an all-star game if you don't want that as well. 
The next tab is the Players tab, which allows you to edit fictional player settings, such as international free agents and scouting discoveries. So you can change the amount that show up every year, as well as enable or disable a hard international amateur free agent cap. The final tab here is the Strategy tab. This is what will allow you to change the general AI settings. So if you want the MLB to have a six-man rotation as the default, you can do that, as well as disable openers, change the frequency that teams bunt. All of this is where you edit that. You can also edit league totals on this screen. You can also edit league totals on this screen, which are the modifiers that determine the stats output from the engine. So if you want 2021 to behave more like 2010, you can go in here, select 2010, and it will recalculate the league staff settings so that the players in this league in this year will behave more like they were playing in 2010. Uh, be aware that when you select this, it will have to recalculate the league staff settings. The other menu that you are going to want to take a look at to make sure that you have your game set up the way you want is the manager settings under the main tab. So here you can see that you have different options such as setting your lineup, setting your pitching, uh, minor league free agent signings, reacting to trades, varying transactions that you can either do yourself manually or have the AI do. One final thing that you need to consider is setting up the continue button. The first time you press the continue button to finish the day, you will be presented with the option to configure it. The configure game flow window will pop up where you can select what events and situations will be handled by the continue button. You can see you have private messages, you have incomplete lineups, important league events, and when one of these happens, bottom right it will alert you on the continue button and take you to the correct screen. You can also change how long autoplay is through the continue button. So the default is one day for the regular season and during the off season and the preseason, it's one week. However, you can change these to as little or as much time as you want. I hope this has been helpful and that you are now more prepared to set up your 2021 MLB season save.